the forehead of your robot. Oh boy, where do I start with this? I've worked as an intern for this little side company of Sony you may have heard of, or may remember but very few due to their Sesame Street DVDs and VHSs. I'm, of course, I'm talking about Sony Wonder. If that doesn't ring the bell, then maybe the screenshot does. Yep, yeah, that's the one. The logo with a normal Sony logo above it, followed by the water-like blue line with the words Wonder in it, and the O is replaced with a sun. Where am I going with this? Sony Wonder makes some of the PBS Kids and other kids' networks into DVDs. I've heard they've done Nickelodeon in the past. But, as was I mentioning, they normally make DVDs, VHSs, and CDs of those properties. Remember when I was mentioning those Sesame Street DVDs? I think I found one of those bootlegged ones, but I'm sure that they never made a combo pack of shows they were doing at the time. It's like those Nick Jr. DVDs where they have most of their popular shows, but before that. The pack was called, Sony Wonders Fiesta, and it included shows like, once again, Sesame Street, but also two Nickelodeon shows, being Rugrats and the Renny and Stimpy Show, and a brand new one I never even saw to even make it onto Sony Wonder. Like, this made me believe that it was a bootleg in the first place. It was Donkey Kong Country, the animated series. After some research, I did remember that they did do those TV episode packs, but I couldn't find any that had something like that on it. Where I found it was during when most of the employees check some of the DVDs and see if they work or not. One of the higher-ups found this DVD and wanted to get rid of it as fast as he could, so I'm guessing that he made it or something. I was about to check it during my working hours, but he banned me from doing that, making me check out the TV episode pack. He also told me to do this at home for homework. That's the most bullcrappest thing I heard from that guy, and it made me chuckle. Anywho, I'm sure you all must be wondering what's on the bloody thing. Like the episodes, the bonus features, the other trailers. Let me tell you what I saw from this thing, that way that I can at least get somebody's attention. The disc booted up without the DVD laws thing you'll normally see, and cutting straight to the Sony Wonder logo. The only things that changed was a little bit on the color, but none of the less it was fine. And yes, I took a screenshot of that and it's right above the third paragraph. The first trailer that was on there was for The Legend of McDonald Land, which was nothing too special. Then, the next two trailers was both for Sesame Street. One was from the late 2000s, and the other was from the 90s. Then a trailer for Donkey Kong played, and mentioned that more episodes will be coming soon on Sony Wonder. The last trailer was for Sesame Workshop, telling the viewers to go check out SonyWonder.com, and SesameWorkshop.com, and ending with a quote that I felt shaken on. And if you see something weird on this disc, destroy it. Sony Wonder and Sesame Workshop has found it out that this disc is a bootleg, which is a crime. Do not make bootlegs, or else we will sue you. Anywho, enjoy the featured presentation. The menu had like a mashup of 90s Nick heads, and Sesame Street aesthetic. There are four options with this disc. One being called, Show Picker, which is where you pick out an episode from a show on the disc. A special features option, which only has two videos, which I'll get to later. Then there was a sound option where you can fix the audio. And lastly there was a trailer option, which just plays all of the trailers with the Sony Wonder logo in it. I clicked on Show Picker, and it came up with four episodes, which is for each series. Sesame Street had an episode called, Getting Wicked. Rugrats had an episode called, Tug and Tumble. Ren and Stimpy had an episode called, Man's Best Friend. And lastly, Donkey Kong had an episode called, Kremlin's Chaos. I'll explain them all with the bullet list, that way this doesn't look too confusing and whatnot. Sesame Street, Getting Wicked. The episode starts as a normal Sesame Street episode, then all of a sudden, the Wicked Witch of the West comes and crashes into Oscar's trash can. This causes her broomstick to break, and so she curses Sesame Street with some creepy spells, such as turning Big Bird into cooked chicken and having Cookie Monster feasting more than just cookies. The episode just ends when Big Bird starts turning into cooked chicken, and just cuts to the credits. Rugrats, tug and tumble. This episode is just screwed up. Like no joke, it's like those storyboard jams. Or in fact, a recreation of one. Tell me if you've heard of this, it starts with Tommy getting a juice for Angelica, then comes Diddy, reminding her to not drink before. Then comes to punching Diddy out of the way saying the line. Out of my way, stupid. Fred Flintstone's home. Stu then threatens Tommy for some reason, which he starts pooping out small poop balls that are like the size of a kiss. 
He then swing Angelica telling Stu that she loves him as an uncle, before mowing and making Stu feel more sexual around her. Don't watch this one. Ren and Stinky, man's best friend. You heard of this one, right? If you haven't, well, here's what it's about. It's about Ren and Stinky getting bought by some drunken owner, and Ren just straight up murders him in the end. That was creepy. Donkey Kong Country, the animated series, Crambling Chaos. The episode starts off at the DK hut, before a loud explosion can be heard. DK and Diddy rushed outside to see Candy Kong being dead, and Cranky limping. Funky and Dixie tell them to look at King K. Rule's new ship, and I was surprised. That ship was from Donkey Kong 64. But why was it doing here? The episode, like most episodes of that series, doesn't tell us. So, the episode ends with the Kongs, hand in hand, as what seems to be a recreation of King K. Rule's final smash from Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Place, as Kong of Bongo falls into pieces. Those episodes was some of the more screwed up ones I've ever saw, but mainly the Nick ones. Those, oh oh, those, are the worst. And the two videos in the special features, shows something, weirder than what I've seen. The first video starts with a 3D animated fish going by with the words, Centropy, floating up from bubbles, while clips from other episodes of Sesame Street and a movie clip of Madagascar was shown. It then floated up and above the waters to read this. Hello folks. Well, you would expect greetings here, right? Not this time. Seeing as how dangerous the scene has become, it's kinda hard to greet anyone. Hell, no one wants to be greeted anymore. Fame is a dangerous thing these times. So, we will send out some anti-greetings instead to the following evil empires. PSA, MPAA, FAST, M$ RIAA, until next time. What I got from this is that somebody that lost from this unknown board called Centropy made this, and used this in another one of the tapes. The second one is the weirdest out of the two. It starts off with the Sony Wonders logo, with the former changing use, like those 2009 YouTube poops, and making it all rainbow-like. The logo then changes the wonder part of the logo into the up, with the tagline. We know what you did with Tasha, don't lie. And it ends off there. That DVD is the weirdest, and I'm glad that I gave it back. Of course, I've lost my job, but luckily I'm working with another company, Warner Brothers, and now helping out with the whole movie to DVD slash digital thing. I'm glad I got this off my chest.